So I have to be honest, I have no idea where this is going to go. But such is the smoke break. Sometimes I like to set things up and just uh, do something special for you guys. Sometimes I have no idea what I'm going to talk about and I'm just thinking. So this is one of those, so deal with it. So I've been through a lot of stuff in my life. I don't necessarily mean a lot of bad things when I say that. A lot of people say, oh, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. And that's not what I'm saying. But a lot has happened. I mean, I'm 26 years old. I'll be 27 in a matter of days here. And just a lot of things have happened in my life. And it seems as, as, as I get older, the more things that happen, the less they mean. If that makes sense. And, and it's, it's so rare to find something that just beats the morosity, we'll call it, and by that I mean some form of the word morose. The morosity of the situations uh, that life brings you. You know, I notice as I, be, as I get older, the more that happens to me, the more the gray things become. And I don't think, I'm not talking about like, I'm getting depressed. That's not what I'm saying. So don't get the wrong idea. Thing is, we get older, and I mean, it's probably just a physical process at this point, too. It's probably just like the receptors in our cells that receive the serotonin and all the endorphins and shit just don't work as well anymore because they're aging. Just like, you know, your stomach stops working as well. Fucking, you diarrhea all the time, you know, because you're old and things are dumb. And, you know, like, you can't remember as many things as quickly as you used to be able to. So, I mean, your body just physically starts to fail, so the emotions that you feel are often more neutral. Some of that is due to experience, though. It's due to the fact that you're just used to it. You're used to things happening to you. It's that repetition. You know, it's that, yeah, you know, I've, I've been punched so many times that it doesn't hurt as much as it used to. You know, or... I've been on a water slide so many times that it's not as exciting as it used to be. I mean, look at Adrenaline Junkies. They gotta just keep pushing it farther and farther and farther and farther until finally fucking the shoot fails one day and they die. And it's the same thing with everyday life. It's the same thing with emotions. It's the same thing with uh, what you get excited about, what you feel, all of that. Now, that being said, there are things that happen that it's almost like it's at those moments it's a blessing that things have just not been as blue as they used to be because you feel it and it's so powerful and you're like man i haven't felt this way since i woke up that one morning when i was six years old during the summer you know and the sky was the best color of blue i've ever seen you know, and, okay, for example, when I was playing, I was young, I was playing Final Fantasy VII, and at the end of the game, I was like, what the hell do I do with my life now? You know, it took what seemed like forever, at least then, um, and, you know, later on, I thought to myself, like, I would pay any amount of money just to be able to have that experience again, because it's never going to be the same after that, but it's because we're looking for the same experiences over and over again and you're not gonna get it you're not gonna get the same experience that you had previously what you need to do is not look for anything don't look for it it'll come to you and when it comes to you it's either gonna fail or it's gonna succeed and either way like that's okay and you know I, I used to hate the phrase like it's not whether you win or lose it's how you play the game and don't get me wrong that's fucking dumb in sports that's not true because if how you played the game matters and you're proud of how you played the game but you lost why are you playing sports get out of sports let me preface i don't give a shit about sports that wasn't a preface whether you win or lose doesn't matter it's how you play the game in sports doesn't count but in life man i mean that is what counts because when you're you're at a job and eventually you get fired or you quit like that's one moment one moment in your life, the entire time between them, the entire time between those two points is what builds you as a person. You're with that one person that you really love and you got together and you broke up. 
you know, those two points were either magical or horrible, but what happened in between then was beautiful. Thank you, phone. Or it was dark, you know, and it built... I'm trying to make a damn point here. Those are the... It's the experience that builds you. Those are the things that... So let me get it out. The things that you, you are built from is the entirety of the experience. Not whether you succeeded or you failed. It's what happened in between them. You know, it's... The practice that you put into winning the contest, you know, it's the the skill that you learned, it's it's the knowledge that you gained. You know, earlier I was just gonna make this video be one of I, I had no energy to do this today. And that's why this is being uploaded so late. Whatever. But it's it's because of the experiences in my life in the last four years, you know, leading up to today that uh, that inspired me to actually sit down and just talk with you. You know, I know the last couple of videos I've done have been setups and, you know, heavily edited things that weren't even that great, but this is what I think about life. This is how I feel about life right now, and I hope that you guys, as you get older, you can realize that it's okay like you know it's you're not gonna feel the newness of everything all the time anymore you're not going to and a lot of people th just think that that's depression they think that's what depression is and it's not anyway that's what i have for this week guys and uh sorry if it was long and boring i guess i'll catch you guys next week if you have anything that you would like to add or that you'd like to argue or tell me off about, then put it in the comments. I'll catch you guys next week. 